Hello everyone, this is Anushka Man and I welcome you back to my channel. So I have been going through the comments you leave on my YouTube videos and I saw that a lot of you are completing your undergraduation this June and July and are feeling a little bit lost about what to do further in your careers. Should you go for GAT? Should you do an MBA? Should you do something else? How to pursue the different career paths? What if you fail? What are the outcomes? With other people are doing this? What are you doing? You feel lost, this and that, so many questions. So I thought that I should really make a video having a candid conversation with you guys. So this video is especially for those people who are just completing their undergraduation and are feeling a little bit lost in their careers. And uh, if this video feels relevant to you, please go ahead and watch it till the end because I really wanted to share a piece of my heart because while going through the comments, I was reminded of how I was feeling two years back when I just completed my undergrad. I was so scared and so overwhelmed. And recently, like on 17th June, I completed one year of my MBA. And I swear to God, if the Anushka from two years back would have the slightest idea what about this amazing trajectory that was going to come her way, the amazing uh, amount of experiences that she's going to have and all that she's going to achieve in her life in the next two years and how her life would just completely go on a roller coaster ride, she would be so, so astonished and so, so proud. So I thought that maybe this could serve as a sort of motivation video for people who are feeling a little bit lost. So let's get started. So I completed my undergrad in chemistry in 2023, June 2023. And I'll be very honest that by the end of my undergrad, one thing that I was absolutely sure of was, I, was that I did not want to do chemistry. I didn't know what I wanted to do exactly but I knew that I did not want to do chemistry and not because it's a bad subject. I loved it. Organic chemistry, especially there was this paper called biochemistry. It was my absolute favorite. If I would have ever pursued a master's in chemistry, it would have been in this particular field. But, you know, something about it made me feel that I do not belong here. You know, you have that inner voice that, okay, this is not something I would want to do for the rest of my life. I want to do something different. I didn't know what exactly was that different, but I was, but I just knew I did not want to do this. I did not want to continue this. So when my parents were, were asking me that, okay, what do you want to do further in your career and all? So I told them I don't want to do chemistry, masters in chemistry. So they asked me, what do you want to do? So I did not have an answer for that. So my parents, my parents have been uh, really, really, you know, open-minded or rather uh, very cool about whatever I've all, whatever I wanted to do in my life. They've never been imposing or something that you have to do this, you have to do that. And that, and they have been like that for both me and my sibling. So they have never been imposing in any way. So I did have enjoy that freedom that I was not really, you know, pressurized into something. But still, my parents suggested that if that if you do not have a plan in mind, we can't let you be. You should be appearing for masters in chemistry because my grades were pretty good uh, during my undergrad. So they kept suggesting me that if you don't have a plan in mind for your future, you should really be appearing for your, you know, master's entrance examinations. So I couldn't even debate or fight with them because of course I did not have a valid point because I didn't know what to do. I knew I did not want to do chemistry but I did not know what if not chemistry then what. So I remember I was studying for one month because my master's entrance exam was in a month and I was studying for a month and I absolutely did not want to do it and I just wished I could somehow get that enlightenment wherein I get to know what exactly is this thing which I really want to do. So, and you know what happened that day on the day of my master's examination. So I had my admit card. I had gone through it twice, thrice, checked the timings and date again and again. And mind you, I'm a very, very careful person. I'm very proper about everything, every little minute detail. So I've never been wrong. I'm never late for any exam class, never. 
I'm very very punctual, very very particular about things. So the thing is, so there are there were two slots for the chemistry masters exam. One was in the morning, one was in the afternoon. So I looked at my admit card twice, thrice rechecked. So it was in afternoon. So on the day of the in of the exam, I was going in the car with my brother, and I opened my admit card, and the exam was in the morning, and I was like, oh my god. And I swear I had checked it so many times. I don't know how I missed it. How I just, I don't know how, but I just <laughs> messed up the timing. So the exam was already over. So yeah, I came back home and I sat there in my room and I was so, so happy about it. I was so happy about it. One month of hard work waste doesn't matter but i was so 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 happy about it oh my by the way i think i messed up the timings a bit a little bit so on may 2023 my uh, undergrad ended so toward in june something i had my master's entrance so i was preparing for it for almost a month and then appeared for it it didn't happen and i was over the moon i was so happy my parents also especially my mother she was very supportive about it and she was like okay don't worry it's very irresponsible of you to mess up the timings like that but i think this was not meant for you because what did just happen did i just miss up the timings i never do that and uh, that day i was thinking to myself that maybe this is what fate has in store for me and one year down the line i'll be so so proud of it and i look back and laugh at this particular moment which i actually do which i'm actually doing right now because can you imagine i would have been doing a masters in chemistry but i just missed the exams because i messed up the timings because in my head i had checked the admit card many times but that did not happen and i'm so glad about it i still laugh about it with my friends so yeah so now masters exam didn't happen so now what so i had two options that were circling in my mind but i did not know if i should be pursuing them so there were multiple doubts about them keep whether i should pursue them whether i was actually meant for those things and what if i fail in those things if i fail then where do i fall back like i should have some i really wanted some you know sort of clarity some sort of assurance that okay if i put my foot here it will work out into this. If this plan fails, then I should have a plan B. But I was not able to formulate even one thing. So the two options, however, I had in my mind were, which, I, which really, really intrigued me for some reason. First was an MBA. So the idea of doing an MBA was circulating in my mind since January that year, January 2023, because I have a cousin sister who almost had a similar trajectory. She did her bachelor's in science and pursued an MBA and was doing fantastic in sales and marketing. You know, we have one of those role models in family. So I used to look up to her and really liked what she did because she was always appreciating her MBA days and how the curriculum was. And she would always say that she want, would do an MBA twice or thrice if she had the chance to do. So I was really intrigued by her life and also in general, you know, how an MBA curriculum looks like, you hear it from different people. Of course, I, I hadn't experienced it back then. So I was really intrigued by it. And I also felt that I could actually do well in this and I will find it very interesting. So these were the two factors. The second career option I was considering really, really, uh, you know, sharply was joining the Defense Forces. I don't know why, but ever since I was a kid, I have been really, really drawn to the defense forces and uh, so I had filled up the forms for uh, AFCAT which is Air Force Common Admission Test and the second one is uh, what's that exam and CDS examination oh my god how did I forget it but okay so uh, I had filled up the forms for that and uh, now I had these two options in mind that I really, really, really wanted to do, but I didn't know how to do them, how to pursue them. And I was feeling very underconfident about it because, you know, I, I know that feeling, like while you are an undergrad, you have a roof over your head. You know, you have something 
कि ओके यू हैव टू गिव सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स यू हैव टू गिव क्लासेज यू आर स्टिल इन कॉलेज राइट बट एज सुन एज इट एंड बट एज सुन एज योर अंडर ग्रैड एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट डिसाइडेड वट टू डू यू सडनली फील यू आर होमलेस एंड ऑन द रोड साइड एंड आई एम नॉट इवन किडिंग आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ अदर पीपल ऑल्सो फील द सेम बट आई फील लाइक दैट लाइक द रूफ ऑफ ऑफ माई हेड वॉज टेकन अवे बिकॉज नाउ आई डोंट हैव अ कवर नाउ I was just a person sitting at home doing nothing sitting idle so, and I was also confused what to do so then I was just mulling these two options over how should I do if I should do them or not so then one fine day uh, it was towards the end of june i think 30th june or something there was this there's this video that pops up in my feed that says five months to cat and uh, i go through that video and i realized that okay should i give it a try because on uh, the day i watched that video it was exactly 5 months from then till cat examination july august september october november so i thought that anyways i'm not doing anything should i give this option my everything and see where it goes because anyways i wasn't doing anything again so yeah i signed up for an online coaching because i did not want to go for an offline coaching because i did not want the hassle of travel and everything and second thing i wanted a coaching in first place because i felt that being at home i can easily get lost in the preparation i wanted something to keep me on track that okay at this time you'll have classes anyway there will be coaching will sort of give me a direction a sort of lead so that i don't go astray in my preparation journey so i signed up for this on- online coaching and i swear that those 5 months that i had I gave it my every single thing, every single thing. I had I built a routine, a sort of timetable for myself, which I've talked about in one of my previous videos. I have made a video where I shared my elaborate timetable, and I followed it to the core, every single thing. And there were days where I was feeling, not not just one or two days, many many days where I was feeling overwhelmed. I was feeling scared what if this doesn't work out what if I'm not meant for this what if I'm putting myself in the wrong shoes am I even be able to do this so so many questions but you have to suppress them and I was just working 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 really really hard for this cat examination so the thing is now the afcat examination that is the air force common admission test it has a similar pattern to cat but a little bit simpler that cat cat is a little bit more complex so afcat also has uh, english it has got general knowledge in uh, aptitude and mathematics so and it happened i think in september i guess if i'm not wrong september or october august august yes so in august i had my afcat examination also which i hadn't prepared for but you know most concepts they get covered during my cat because i had already covered the basics by then for during my cat preparation so i just appear for this afcat examination and i was able to solve a good number of questions accurately and i knew that i think this might work i might also be able to crack this examination then a month or two later i get my afcat result and i had cleared the air force common admission test and i was so 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 happy because after an undergrad i had been in that space of being in doubt doubting my own capabilities being in you know complete chaos for so for a couple of months now that this first small victory felt so large and so motivating and encouraging i remember i got that ssb call letter ssb is uh, the selection board wherein you have to appear for the for a series of interviews and tests at the air force centers and i remember seeing that and i was so so happy that okay one small win but we have one more milestone to accomplish which is the cat examination so worked hard for cat and luckily luckily i got 99.04 percentile in cat 2023 and then it just i don't know how i just took that big leap of faith and things just kept going smoothly that particular day, that particular year and i do believe that that span of few months was really really lucky and in my favor and not because 
the fate was in my favor or something like that. I also worked really hard and I also attribute it to the fact that I decided to, you know, really test what I had got in me. I really decided to believe in myself and to take that big risk of jumping into an entrance examination, which lakhs of people appear for, thousands of people appear for. So yeah, in December, I got my CAT result, 99.04. Then from January onwards, I started getting uh, calls from the top B schools of India, like the IMs, the SP, MDI, etc., etc. appeared for so many B school interviews, converted most of them. In February, I had uh, my SSP scheduled and also it was lined up with my B school interview. So I had to select one of them because the dates were coinciding. So I weighed some pros and cons and then went ahead with my B school interview. So yeah, didn't go for the AFCAT Air Force SSB. But even now, I look back at it and feel really proud about it that, okay, I was just this close to being in the defense forces and I have no regrets whatsoever that I didn't try for it because it was again one of my dream careers to pursue and you know I was almost halfway through it so I just feel good about it and I don't regret anything so then had lots of interviews had lots of options to choose from finally settled on SPJMR Mumbai came here had an amazing year an amazing year of learning at SP in my MBA and I have accomplished so much in this one year that I look back and I feel that if I wouldn't have you know taken that risk if I wouldn't have believed in myself and just decided to just go head on into no matter without thinking about the consequences or outcomes I wouldn't have been here and that's why I really wanted to make a video for those people who feel a little bit, you know, lost in about what to do further in their careers because, and let me tell you that this is something that happens with everyone. Everyone feels a little bit in a chaos. Everyone feels cluttered at some point of time in their life. But out of that, if you have one or two options in your hand that you think you can possibly pursue, I would suggest just go for them. Just go for them, give them your everything and if you do so, there's no way you cannot achieve them. So since I talk about mostly preparation for CAT or it could be for any other thing that you're preparing for or you're aiming for in your career, I really suggest that you give it your all without thinking about the consequences. How would you know what are the consequences anyway? You could give it a hundred percent, you still might not get it. But there is also a chance that you achieve it and just imagine the life, the beautiful life beyond it if you achieve your career goal. Because now a lot of people would say, but there's a 50% probability of failing. But there's a 50% probability of succeeding as well. Now we can't really know what's going to happen in the future. And if we can't know, then why to worry about it now? How about whatever time we have, whatever options we have, how about we give it our all, especially when you have just completed your undergrad. You're so young, you're so fresh, you have got so much time on your hands, so much energy. You can literally do anything you want. So whatever your options you have, I suggest that you give it your all and I really wish you all the best. I hope that this video would be helpful to the people who really needed it and could serve as a source of motivation, motivation for you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.